After a brief intermission, we are back on the line for Moto 2 of the GP here at Fox Valley Off Road. Moto2 starts with a live engine start, and to be honest, I am not too good at live engine starts, so I'm really towards the back of the pack. It's something that I should really start working on when I go to practice, but it's not something I've really practiced as of yet. Now you can see three guys went down there, or two guys went down and then one guy got hung up with them, so I would say I'm in 11th of 14th at this point so I really have my work cut out for me this moto. In moto 1 the dead engine start I'm a little bit better at those so I had a more mid pack start but here I am really towards the back of the pack. Crossing this creek section here I make a pass that guy chose an outside line the inside line was a little bit faster and it really gave me a good run up this hill. Coming out onto the motocross track here, I'm trying to hang with this guy as much as I can. I really want to get around him because we only have four laps to get around as many people as possible in GPs. So it's an all-out sprint, and if I want to have a respectable finish, then I really have to get around as many people as I can early on here in the race. So here I do end up getting a little bit of a run on this guy in the neon gear and I do end up making the pass on him. So I finally made a pass on someone in the motocross track which again is a place that I've really been struggling in these GPs and towards the end of the year here I will be heading to Fox Valley to do some riding and this is going to be my main focus trying to get this motocross track down just because it's in every GP so being slow on the motocross track will really kill my results or continue to kill my results. So here the guy in front of me is Amos Vincent. He is a faster 85 rider and also he races the C class. He ends up getting around me and I try and stay with him as much as I can in this last section of lap one. Um, he does end up becoming a factor later on in the race, but he does gap me just by a little bit here for these first two laps. So here we come out and finish lap number one, and we're moving on to now lap number two. As I said in the last video, I was actually really happy with how I rode today. It's been about a month and a half since I've rode just because of some bike issues, but I just felt great. I felt like this was one of my better rides of the year so far, so definitely a positive. But not really too much happens on lap number two, so we're going to cut now to lap number three. And then here we're heading up this GP hill, which is actually a ton of fun. You can just absolutely pin it. And I wish I had the courage to keep it pinned because there's a little bit of a lip there that could launch your bike towards the end. But I always let up towards the end of the hill so I don't launch my bike too much. And then, of course, we go up the hill, so we have to come back down. Here towards the end of lap number three, as I said, Amos becomes a factor and we can see a rider just ahead of me and that is Amos. So I try and hang with him as much as I can, uh, try and get some experience here and just try and push myself a little bit because the majority of Moto2 I rode by myself except for this last lap. 
I'll be honest, this last lap is really exciting, especially the finish, and we'll see that here in a few minutes. But we're going to do a continuous cut and just watch the entire lap itself. I don't think in the last video I showed an entire lap, but I did say this was by far the most fun GP course that I've ridden here at Fox Valley. So I want to show it. I want to show the entire thing and show what you missed out on if you ended up missing this race. So Amos is ahead of me by a couple of seconds. I wouldn't say we're having a battle. He is in my line of sight, but he we're not nose to tail having a, a really interesting battle, but I am keeping up with him to some extent. And when I do see him, I do end up pushing myself a lot. And I feel like I learned a lot just in this one lap by trying to catch him. So you can see Amos is having a battle with another rider or ends up getting around another rider. This guy right here on the left on the Honda was in the 30 plus C class. Now this guy in front of me now um, that's in between Amos and myself, I don't know if he's in our class, the 12 to 29 C class, or if he's in the 30 C class, but regardless, he's there and I end up having a really good battle with him after we get through these next few uphills. So we come up the GP hill here and then we come to the downhill. This is something I want to work on as well. I feel like I could really just pin it down this hill and stay on the gas. I don't really break too much, but I don't stay on the gas on the downhill either. And I feel like I lose just a little bit of time there. So when I come to Fox Valley to ride, I really want to try and get that hill down as well because it is in pretty much every GP that we do. So we come out onto this grass track section here and Amos gaps me by probably 10 seconds, if not just a little bit more at this point, but I'm really closing in on this guy on the white bike. We come out onto the motocross track section here, we do this S turn, and now I'm really within striking distance of this guy, and I really want to get around him. You remember in Moto 1, I had a battle with Nick, but ended up not getting around him. He actually had a really good race, uh, this Moto, from what I saw with the results. He ended up 10th, but so he wasn't really a factor, but... Now I'm having a battle on the last lap with this guy, and I don't want to lose both battles I had in each moto on the last lap. So I was really determined to get around this guy, and I was considering going for the pass on the inside right there, going into the woods, but let off a little bit. I don't want to be too mean, and I don't want to take anyone out. This race is just for fun, obviously, but we're right together at this point. We're getting towards the end of the lap and it's really crunch time so I'm looking all over for potential lines to get around this guy.
So here I really pin it and I am determined to make the pass. So I go on the inside, he goes on the outside. And to be honest, he let up a little bit. He let me around him. Um, I think he knew I was going for the aggressive pass right there. But regardless, I do get around him on the last lap. And to be honest, this is probably one of the most exciting last laps that I've ever had in my years of racing. And making that last lap pass made it pretty intense and pretty special for me. So now we're coming out to the finish line here. And we'll see that Amos finished right in front of me. He finished about five seconds ahead of me. So he was there, but... He ended up beating me, and once again, I finished 13th of 14 in the 12th to 29th C-Class. So although the result wasn't there, um, I still had a really fun day of racing. Just being off the bike for a month and a half, I was really appreciative just to be on my bike. And again, I wasn't expecting too good of results today. I just wanted to have some fun. So um, I definitely did that. And with that, that wraps up the racing season at Fox Valley Off-Road. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We have quite a few ride videos coming here in the future. I hope to see you then.